My name is Chang Yun. My family has practiced the art of exorcism in Liyue for many generations. Fate has been generous in allowing my path to cross with that of your distinguished self. Oh, no. My services are free of charge. Exorcism uses thaumaturgy and martial arts to conquer evil. There are other means to the same end, but they are not the true way. I take my meals cold to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Qingxin infused water with ice is the most effective. Heart be pure, evil be erased, mind be purged, world be... Um... I always forget that last part. There is no purer form of water than rain. It can aid us greatly in the purging of evil. Before the resounding thunder, evil must cower in fear. Ah, this weather is delightful. It is unwise to waste the precious morning hours. Time to train. Once spiritual energies are at their peak at noon, we must take that time to practice. As the day winds down and the quiet of evening sets in, the atmosphere is ripe for focusing your mind. There is no better time than this for training. Ah, oh, what a tiring day. You should get some rest. Don't forget what we agreed. We will investigate that haunted house tomorrow. We exorcists have been protectors of Liyue since ancient times, and our techniques have been passed down from generation to generation. Purging evil is second nature to us. <sighs> I didn't actually do anything. I just walked into that haunted house and the problem was resolved. Do you think I should still take payment for this exorcism? Your skills are impressive. When you finish with a hillichur, I mean an evil spirit, it is surely banished from this world for good. How about we team up? By now you must be well acquainted with Leo's supernatural phenomena. Now, about the evil beings you speak of in lands beyond, I would very much like to see them too. Visions are powerful, but one would be foolish to place blind faith in them. Personally, I trust more in thaumaturgy and martial arts. In the end, one cannot become truly proficient without vigorous training. There are rumors abound concerning evil spirits in Liyue, but not all have truth to them. In fact, some strange commissions wind up having nothing to do with them at all. I have heard there are many strange and rare things sealed within the amber from Mount Hulao. Could some of them be the fabled demons of which the ancient legends speak? I would love to investigate. That Zhang Li from the Wang Sheng funeral parlor seems to be quite an incredible man. Just think. Common folk might gang up to commit a murder. We exorcists vanquish demons. But he alone buries the bodies of the Adepti. I do admire Sing Cho for his devotion to chivalry and his martial arts proficiency. However, I must warn you that he definitely has a mean side too. If you find that you fall foul of any of his antics, come to me and we'll form a Victims of Singcho Alliance. There is strength in numbers. The Conqueror of Demons himself has defended Liyue side by side with we exorcists for generations. Day after day, night after night. I have the utmost respect for Adeptus Xiao. It's just... Why must he be so disparaging towards us? He says our repertoire is lacking and our power is trivial. I'm sorry, but I just can't accept that. The Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor is a reputable institution that acts with integrity. But whenever I see that cheeky smile that says, it's nothing you exorcists need to worry about, it just makes my blood boil. Oh. <sighs> Deep breath, Chong Yun. Stay calm. She looks like a zombie. But as an exorcist, I feel there's something different about her. Hmm. Her name is also absent from all the praised names I've seen. Where exactly does she fit in among the deities? I avoid Xinyan's performances like the plague. That heated atmosphere. Even if you don't intend to get involved, it's still... Let's just say that it gets me all hot and bothered. Xiangling's cooking is universally praised, but I personally don't touch any of her spicy dishes. Why? Oh, you know, just a uh, personal preference, that's all. I mean, come on. Mushroom slime stew? 
Does that sound appetizing to you? The elders in my clan have mentioned her before. The fate of her family... It's something we can all sympathize with. I originally thought we would be able to bring a long-lost relative back into our clan. The elders were overjoyed too when they heard she was still alive. They even prepared gifts for her and picked an auspicious day for a grand reunion. What we hadn't counted on was that most of the time she's extremely difficult to track down. Wait a minute. Based on her relative positions in the family tree, does that mean that I... There's no way I'd have to call her Auntie Jenhe... Right? I met her once, back when I'd just become an exorcist. I'd taken a commission to perform an exorcism in someone's home and was just leaving at the end when I ran into her. She wrote my name down in a booklet. I guess she just wanted to confirm I wasn't doing anything suspicious. Anyway, it was just that one time. I never saw her again after that. Now that I think about it, it's probably because the sight of me meditating motionless must be pretty boring to watch. Not exactly suspicious. Discipline is everything. Unbridled passion can have disastrous consequences. Trust me, I would know. Oh, no, no, no. Not from personal experience, of course. <laughs> I'm just stating my observations from what I've seen in my travels around Liu. I was born with a pure Yang spirit, meaning I have too much Yang energy. Apparently it's so rare it only happens once every thousand generations or so. It means I repel all evil for miles around. Actually, that's a bad thing. I must be the only exorcist in history who can't get within ten miles of an evil spirit. One of the main consequences of having a pure Yang spirit is excess passion. Something which has gotten me into many embarrassing situations. In an effort to counteract my Yang energy, I have to abstain from eating chilies and all hot food. I also have to take a parasol with me everywhere, and I avoid listening to rousing music. <sighs> I wonder... Will I ever find a way to work around my condition? Waiting for evil to show up at the doorstep will get you nowhere. You have to go out and hunt it down. By purging Liu of evil spirits, I bring peace of mind to people and also broaden my horizons. If an evil spirit ever bothers you, just let me know. I'll come and help you out right away. To permanently banish the forces of evil from the world is my ultimate goal as an exorcist. If that grand day ever comes, I suppose I should be able to consider trying many new things, such as hot springs, Yun chilies, and partaking in other activities of a more passionate nature. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Uh, I shouldn't be dwelling on these things. Even thinking about them is too stimulating for me. I like listening to Team Master Liu's stories. His narration really brings the hair-raising tales of the supernatural to life. Why not come with me sometime? After making numerous inquiries and putting in an enormous amount of effort, I finally tracked down the location of an old haunted temple. So I camped out there for four whole days, ready to exercise the hell out of that place. And nothing happened. Not even the faintest glimpse of an evil spirit. <sighs> Sadly, this is a regular occurrence for me. Nothing makes me happier than sitting down to an authentic Inazuman meal. Ingredients imported, of course. After training hard all day, the ice-cold freshness of Inazuman cuisine takes the exhaustion away. Anything piping hot and laden with chilies is an absolute no-go for me. The mere thought of a Jueyun chili gives me hot flashes. Cold dishes are just to my liking. I'll save some for after my training. I'm sorry, I know you mean well, but I really need to wait for it to cool off before I eat it. Oh no. Did you put Yun chilies in this? On the anniversary of your birth, please accept this gift of a flower made of ice crystals. I carved it myself. If you ever encounter an evil spirit, cast this toward it. The spell I have cast upon it will immediately come into effect and hopefully get you out alive. Also, happy birthday. We often use these materials for thaumaturgy during exorcisms. I never knew they could be used to purify one's own spirit, too. Martial arts and thaumaturgy are alike in that there are always new dimensions to explore. Thanks to your guidance, 
I can see myself making progress. Never before have I fathomed such lofty heights of martial prowess. For eye and hand, man and blade to act in unity. Truly, I have been enlightened. With all the secret arts that I have learned, my goal of banishing all evil from the world is finally in view. I will never forget how much you have done for me. Maybe now I even have what it takes to face the flames of my positive energy and see if I can take the heat. <laughs>